3i Atlas has already swept past Mars and is now speeding toward the Sun, moving into a pivotal phase of its voyage through our solar system. Initial observations have uncovered strange behavior, an unexpectedly strong emission of water while still distant from the Sun, and a coma unusually rich in carbon dioxide, evidence that its makeup is unlike that of ordinary comets born within our system. As it approaches perihelion later this month, astronomers are watching closely, eager to see how it behaves under the mounting heat and radiation. The early data already suggest that this object, only the third interstellar visitor ever detected, is rewriting what scientists thought they knew about comets. What makes 3i Atlas so fascinating is not only its foreign origin, but the way it has defied every expectation. The closer it gets, the stranger it becomes, a reminder that our solar system is not the only place capable of producing icy wanderers, and that nature still holds surprises even in the age of space telescopes and deep space probes. Spectroscopic measurements from both ground-based observatories and NASA's James Webb Space Telescope have provided a wealth of detail about its behavior. They show that 3i Atlas has been releasing around 40 kilograms of water vapor every second, a staggering rate considering that it was doing so at nearly three astronomical units from the Sun, roughly the distance of the asteroid belt. At that range, sunlight is weak and most comets remain quiet, their ices still locked beneath frozen crusts. But 3i Atlas was already awake, venting gas and developing a hazy coma long before the Sun's warmth should have reached it. Even more remarkable was the chemical makeup of that outgassing. Instead of being dominated by water vapor, as in nearly every known comet, it was rich in carbon dioxide. In 3i Atlas, CO2 seems to be the main driver of its activity, an inversion of the normal pattern that stunned researchers. Polarimetric data reinforced the idea of an unusual composition, showing a scattering pattern consistent with very fine or chemically distinct dust grains. The light reflected from this dust doesn't behave like the light from typical cometary particles, implying that 3i Atlas carries a signature of a different chemistry altogether. This early and vigorous activity forced scientists to rethink their models of cometary behavior. One hypothesis suggests that the comet's outer layers trap volatile ices like carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide under a fragile crust. When exposed to even a small amount of sunlight, these ices begin to sublimate at low temperatures, creating gas pressure that fractures the surface and allows both volatiles and water to escape. Another theory proposes that 3i Atlas's nucleus may be unusually porous or riddled with fissures, enabling sunlight to penetrate deeper and heat subsurface layers directly. Both mechanisms could explain why the comet began venting material while still in the cold reaches of the solar system, well beyond the threshold where typical comets awaken. Whatever the explanation, 3i Atlas is breaking the rules that astronomers thought governed icy bodies, demonstrating that interstellar objects may operate on an entirely different set of chemical and physical principles. Across the astronomical community, telescopes are preparing for the show. ESA's JU spacecraft, stationed beyond the Sun on its way to the Jupiter system, will have a privileged vantage point to observe Atlas after perihelion. Its instruments, though designed for studying Jovian moons, can detect subtle changes in brightness and spectrum as the comet's coma evolves. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope will monitor infrared emissions to trace molecular gases, while the Hubble Space Telescope and several large observatories on Earth will capture visible and ultraviolet data. Together, these instruments will record the comet's transformation in exquisite detail. If it survives the encounter, 3i Atlas will reappear in early December, visible again from Earth's night skies, as a faint but persistent traveler, still trailing its alien dust through the void. The information gleaned from this interstellar visitor will be invaluable. By comparing the comet spectra before and after its brush with the sun, scientists can see how solar heating alters the chemistry of alien materials, something no laboratory experiment can truly replicate. Even small shifts in the ratios of gases or the structure of its dust could reveal how radiation reshapes the building blocks of distant worlds. The study of 3i Atlas will deepen understanding not only of comets, but of the processes that govern planetary formation across the galaxy.
The broader story of interstellar objects has been one of discovery and astonishment. When Oumuamua was first detected, its lack of a visible coma and rapid rotation challenged conventional wisdom about how such objects should behave. Two years later, 2i Borisov arrived, behaving much more like a traditional comet, but showing subtle differences in chemical makeup. Together, they hinted at a diversity of interstellar materials far beyond what scientists had imagined. Now, with 3i Atlas, the picture grows richer. Each object represents a different environment, a different kind of star system, and collectively, they suggest that our galaxy is filled with fragments of countless worlds, pieces of other solar systems crossing paths with ours. This cosmic traffic has profound implications. Planetary systems are not closed, isolated laboratories. They are dynamic and interconnected. During the early stages of planet formation, giant planets can fling leftover debris into interstellar space, turning comets and asteroids into galactic drifters. Some of those fragments may wander for eons before encountering another star, as 3i Atlas has done. Our solar system, too, has likely sent out its own emissaries, small icy bodies carrying traces of Earth's chemical history into the dark between the stars. The fact that we've now identified three incoming visitors in less than a decade suggests that such exchanges may be common. The Milky Way could be threaded with an invisible web of material exchange, a quiet commerce of dust and ice linking distant suns. The chemical makeup of 3i Atlas may also inform the search for life elsewhere. Comets are known reservoirs of organic molecules, including carbon chains, amino acid precursors, and alcohols. These compounds, when delivered to young planets, could act as the seeds for prebiotic chemistry. If 3i Atlas contains similar or even more complex organics, it would suggest that such ingredients are widespread in the galaxy, available wherever planets form. Conversely, if its chemistry proves alien, rich in molecules rarely found in our system, it would indicate that life's raw materials may vary dramatically from one star to another. Either way, the findings will reshape our understanding of the cosmic potential for life. The findings have deep implications. Water ice, the primary volatile in most solar system comets, generally remains stable until about three astronomical units from the sun, when solar radiation finally warms it enough to sublimate. 3i Atlas has shattered that limit, revealing that interstellar comets may contain different mixes of ices that respond to heat in unique ways. The dominance of carbon dioxide implies that the comet was formed in a region much colder than where Earth and its siblings took shape. Perhaps in the far outer disk of another star system, where CO2 and CO are abundant and water is less common. If that's true, 3i Atlas offers an unprecedented sample of the chemistry of an alien planetary nursery. Its very makeup is a window into another star's environment, one colder, more volatile, and chemically distinct from our own. Each molecule streaming from its surface carries a trace of that lost world, like a whisper from a distant sun. The way 3i Atlas reflects polarized light adds another layer of mystery. Polarization measurements, essentially the way light waves align after scattering off dust particles, can reveal the size, structure, and composition of those particles. In 3i Atlas, the polarization signature doesn't match that of local comets. It suggests that the dust grains are either smaller, more uniform, or composed of minerals not found in our solar system's typical icy bodies. Interstellar dust like this could contain silicates, organics, or exotic compounds shaped under conditions that our sun never experienced. To planetary scientists, each of these grains is like a microscopic time capsule, preserving the chemistry of its birthplace and offering rare clues to the diversity of materials that fill our galaxy. As with every interstellar visitor, the strangeness of 3i Atlas has inevitably drawn speculative theories. After all, when Oumuamua swept through in 2017, its sugar-like shape, lack of a coma, and unexplained acceleration led some to propose it might be an artificial object, perhaps a fragment of alien technology or a defunct solar sail. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb famously suggested that humanity should not rule out such possibilities. But in the case of 3i Atlas, the data point toward a natural explanation. The comet's behavior, though extreme, can be explained by its volatile rich composition and physical structure, rather than any manufactured design. 
The prevailing view among astronomers is that Atlas is an organic wanderer, a natural product of the chaotic processes that shape planets and comets around distant stars. The stage is now set for its defining moment. On October 29th, 3I Atlas will reach its closest approach to the Sun, known as perihelion, passing at about 0.53 astronomical units, half the distance between the Earth and the Sun. There, it will be bombarded by solar heat and radiation more than three times stronger than what Earth receives. The outcome is impossible to predict, but scientists envision three broad scenarios. The first possibility is a surge in activity. If the solar heat penetrates deep into the nucleus, it could trigger a dramatic outburst, brightening the comet and perhaps producing a luminous tail visible from Earth. The second is fragmentation. The comet might tear itself apart under thermal stress or as jets of gas spin it faster and faster. In that case, astronomers could study the exposed interior, an unprecedented look at interstellar material that has never seen sunlight. The third and least likely scenario is a stable passage, in which Atlas remains intact and sails outward relatively unchanged. Each outcome would offer valuable data, but fragmentation, paradoxically, might be the most scientifically rewarding.